and it was set right at 7 a.m. in the morning. In the afternoon of the same day, when the watch is noticed, it is showing a time of quarter past 4 o'clock. What will be the original time? That is what we have to calculate. We have our options over here as 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m. and 7 p.m. The logic that we have over here is first you have to get the time between 7 and 4 15 that is quarter past 4 o'clock is nothing but 4 15 so you have to calculate the time that is between your 7 and 4 15 in seconds in term of seconds then we have to calculate the mistake in clock how much the clock is going fast next we have to calculate the time for which the total time for which your mistake in seconds has been added. This is a proportion concept. So we have our time as 7 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. which has 9 hours and 15 minutes. So converting this into minutes, we have it as 9 multiplied by 60 plus 15 which is equal to 555 minutes. When 555 minutes is converted into seconds, we have to multiply 555 with 60 to get 33,300 seconds. So, totally we have 33,300 seconds between 7 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. 3 minutes and 5 seconds of this clock is equal to 3 minutes of the correct clock. That is... A clock is running ahead of time by 5 seconds. So, a clock is 5 seconds faster than the normal time. 1 minute has 60 seconds as we already know. So, 3 minutes will have 3 into 60 that is 180 seconds. So, if a clock runs at a mistaken time of 3 minutes 5 seconds, that is obtained by 3 into 60 that is equal to 180 plus 5 that is 185 seconds. So our correct time will be 180 seconds whereas our clock is running at 185 seconds. Our clock is 185 seconds faster where it should have been 180 seconds. The time at quarter past 4 is 33,300 in terms of seconds. If the clock has been correct then how much would have been the time in seconds. So to calculate this we simply have to multiply our 180 with 33,300 and divide it by 185 to get the answer. So that's what we have done over here 33,300 multiplied by 180 divided by 185 gives you 32,400 seconds. It is converted into minutes by dividing it in terms of 60. So you get 540 minutes. Converting 540 minutes into hours we have to divide it by 60 so you get 9 hours. So, a clock was set right at 7 a.m. 
so from 7 am if it had been on time correctly it would have crossed 9 hours that is your clock would have shown 4 pm which is our option a so option a is our answer moving on to our next example over here we have a clock and what time between 5:30 and 6 will the hands of this clock be at right angles let us see how it happens first we have our options over here A 40 minutes past 5 B 45 minutes past 5 C 43 into 7 by 11 minutes past 5 D 42 minutes past 5 Let us see how to solve this At 5 o'clock the hands will be 25 minutes spaces apart and we need to find out At what time between 5:30 and 6 the hands of the clock will be at right angles So if you can see over here the hour hand and the minute hand are 25 minutes spaces apart To be at right angle the clock should have its hands 15 minutes spaces apart So the minute hand has to cover 20 minute spaces and to be at right angle with 5 it should cover 15 minute spaces again that is nothing but 25 plus 15 which is equal to 40 minute spaces As we already know the hands run 55 minute spaces apart that is 55 minute spaces are gained by a hand in 60 minutes so what will be the time gained by a hand in 40 minutes for 55 is gained in 60 minutes so what will be the time to gain 40 minutes as we have seen here 55 minute spaces are gained in 60 minutes so 40 minute spaces will be gained in how much time so to find out this we have to simply multiply our 60 minutes with 40 minute spaces by 55 minute spaces which will give you your answer as 43 into 7 by 11 minutes so our required time is 43 into 7 by 11 minutes past 5 that is 5 43 7 by 11 which is option c Hence, our answer is option C. Thank you so much for le learning clocks.